Jeff, I wanted to give you a little bit more uh, instruction on the controls for the drone. In the picture here is the gimbal control knob. It's got a little black dot at the top in the center. When you first turn on your controller, you want to make sure that that is centered. That little black dot is at the center and at the top. That makes sure that your camera is level and pointing straight forward. If you turn this knob to the left, your camera will tilt upwards. If you tilt the, or turn the knob to the right, the camera will tilt downwards. And as far as aiming left and right, you use the rotation of the drone itself to help aim uh, for left and right. On the other side of the controller, there's a switch that's, in this picture, it's labeled mix. I think it's also labeled mix on yours, but I'm not sure. But anyway, whatever it's labeled, it's the same switch on your controller. It's a three position switch. At the top is zero, and in the center is one, and at the bottom is two. The zero is for manual mode, and you have to start in manual mode when, when you're first starting your drone. So you have it in zero. That means that whatever you do on the controller, uh, it reacts on the drone. If you let go, your drone will fall. The second switch, which is in the center, and that's switch position one, is the GPS mode. And that will hold the drone in place so you don't have to worry. If you let go of the controls, it won't drop or fall or blow away. Uh, so it's it keeps the drone, and that's a good mode for flying in because uh, you don't have to worry as much. The third position is the one key return to home button. That's kind of the fail safe. That's if you get into trouble and you lose sight of it or you lose control, whatever. Flip it down to uh, the switch down to the bottom to the number two position and the drone will automatically fly back and land at the place where it took off. Now you have to be careful with that because uh, when you take off you want to make sure there's no trees around because when a thing goes into automatic return to home it may fly right back into a tree because it's you're no longer steering it uh, and if there's a tree between you and the return to home point uh, it may run into it and I have had that happen on my drones before so uh, just make sure when you take off you're in a very clear area so this is a picture of the knob in the zero position notice that it's all the way up this is completely stand uh, manual mode, so when it's in this mode, and this is the way you have to start it, it will not start if it's not in the zero position. So make sure that you have this knob all the way up when you when you arm the motors. Uh, however, once you start the motors, you should be able to switch it down to GPS mode, and that would mean that you can fly even when you're taking off. It'll be in GPS mode which gives you a little bit more security, more safety, making sure that you don't fly into something on, on takeoff. All right, and this is the number one position. Uh, this is the middle position on this three position switch. So it'll be like straight up and down. Uh, it's the first click down you know, from when you start. So you start in the zero position. That means it's completely manual when you first arm the motor when you turn it on. Uh, but you can switch it down into the GPS mode in order to take off and that is a, a safe way to fly it at least for the beginning until you get comfortable with flying. Uh, so you start in the zero mode with the switch all the way to the top uh, and then once you're armed and, and the motors are ready to fly you can switch it one down to, to the, the center position that's GPS hold and so that will help control the flight. Um, and then if you click it down one more to the bottom, that's the return to home. I highly recommend not to use return to home unless you're really in a jam, if you're lost or whatever, uh, because you can run into problems like flying in trees like I, like I mentioned. Here's a short clip uh, of some instructions by a guy named Bo Sorensen. Uh, who did a good uh, tutorial on how to fly the X350 Pro. Uh, so this will help you with, uh, uh, with flying the drone. Remember that the left stick, uh, when you push it forward, that means go up. When you push it down, that means land or go down. Uh, pushing the, the left stick left or right will rotate the drone either left or right. 
and the right stick controls forwards, backwards, and slide left and slide right. But see and watching this this little clip here. I want you guys to start safely. And I put it out here, so you should be able to see what's going on. And I'm just gonna stand behind here so you can see as well. As again, I'm gonna repeat myself. All of the switches in the up position. And then what we're gonna do is take the throttle stick and move it down and to the left. Now the light came on and the motors are armed. So I'm gonna push this up a little bit and when we give it a little more power, I'm gonna check if it rocks right and left, forward and backward, so I know that the stick is working right. So let's give it a little more power. Now I'm about 25%, 30%, and I'm gonna pushing it left, then I'm pushing it right, then I'm pulling it back, and I'm pushing it forward. As you can see, when the roll pitch stick is centered, my quad is pretty much centered. So we are ready to fly. And I'm gonna, if you see here, we're at about 30%. So now I'm just going to go ahead and push it up and you can see the thing lift off. And just like that, we're flying 100% manual right now and it's just hanging there. And you can see I'm, I'm doing a little bit of nicks here. Just moving the stick a teeny bit to keep it in place. So I'm just gonna push this away from me a little bit. And as I'm getting it out here, that's a good place. It's a little bit of wind, but I'm gonna push this into GPS now. And it's in GPS. And it's just hanging there. I'm gonna push it to the left to get away from the roses a bit. And there we are. We are flying GPS. Notice the throttle stick is in the middle. It should always be in the middle. Now, if I wanna fly this while in GPS, I can fly it like that. It's gonna fly out, let go, and it's gonna hang again. And I can fly and bring it back. I want it a little higher, so I'm gonna throttle up. And here it's hanging. And I'm letting go of the stick. And this is still hanging. Whoops, there's a bit of wind. So we can't account for the wind, but the thing is basically flying where it's supposed to be. I'm going to leave this in GPS and I'm gonna go ahead and land now. So there we go. We're bringing this down. And I'm just basically giving it a little less throttle so that it keeps going downwards. And whoops, there it is. And push the throttle to the right, throttle stick to the right, and that's gonna turn off the motors.